was kind of the emotions through that game. And I mean, obviously, it felt like this may have been the best performance y'all put together in a while. Just what was the emotions of kind of battling through a game like that? Honestly, I disagree with it being the best performance. I feel like we didn't defend. We gave up 50 points in the first half. It's not like us. That wasn't okay at all. That's not Ole Miss basketball. So um, we got to get back to defending. You know, we scored 73 points. You know, we had a, a overall um, – we did well on the offensive end, but we didn't defend, you know. And we got to have a complete, you know, game, a complete 40 minutes of defending and doing well offensively. So we're going to get to that. This. I mean, you've been here for a while now. This is not the same program it was when you signed here. Um, Y'all were competitive today with one of the best teams in the country. What is your, what's been your take on, on the metamorphosis of this program over the last few years? I've said every year I've been here, we've continued to get better. We've continued to grow. Um, you know, when I came here, you know, I didn't know we would be here, you know, where we are now, but we're here. You know, it's, it's been with hard work and following Coach O's vision and just having players that believe, you know, come and join the program, you know. So now that we're here, you know, it's going to be big games. It's going to be big moments, and we got to be ready for them. So this was one uh, big moment, and we got a lot to, you know, take away from it and learn from it. We'll be better the next time. crowd today, what did you think about the crowd? That was great. Uh, Forever uh, grateful and thankful for the Oxford community showing up and showing out. Uh, we hope the next time get a dub for them. Maddie, just kind of playing a lot of point guard, obviously. Um, what's that been like for you? And, and uh, I guess what, what challenges does that present? Uh, it's, it's been it's been it's been good. You know, it comes with its challenges. Um, still trying to figure out. Uh, how to uh, keep the pace up, um, just how to be a, a great leader, a floor general. You know, I'm still learning that, and, I'm, you know, it's going to take some time. I'm, 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 it's going to – it's an adjustment, you know. But um, my teammates got my back. You know, my coaches got my back. You know, they're, they're leading me in the right direction, you know. So I'm going to just keep working at it, and I know I'll continue to get better at it. Maddie, you mentioned the defense. Just out there on the court for you, what do you feel like you kind of was causing the difficulties or the struggles out there for you guys? We weren't competing. We didn't play. Um, we, we, our defense, like to be great at our defense, I feel like you, you know you have to have the will, you know, to play mm -hmm. to play our defense. And we didn't have the will to play our defense tonight. We were given a game plan. We had everything we needed. We were prepared. We had everything we needed to get to pull out a win tonight. But then it came down to us, you know, competing, playing with heart, playing with grit, you know, wanting it more than the other team. And, I, and we didn't just we just didn't have that tonight, you know. And and we're gonna learn from it, like I said. And I know that we'll come back stronger and tougher, you know, and better next time. As a leader on this team, what are you going to do to try to kind of convey that message to maybe in the locker room to the other players or stuff? Or what, what do you do to, to fix that, I guess? Well, it starts with me, you know. So, uh, you know, we, we talk about it a lot, but it's about doing it, you know. So, for me, it, it's, it's, it's making sure that I'm showing the right way to go about things, you know. Because, um, you know, we, we got to show by, by, by actions, you know. Uh, we're here. The moment is here. We're in SEC. You know, we're trying to do big things this season, and, and all of our goals are still in line. You know, we're not. This one loss isn't the end all be all. You know, but you know it hurts a little bit. But we're gonna learn from it. We're gonna keep going, and it starts with me. So I'm gonna show up next practice day, ready to go, and, and ready to you know uh, continue to grow and get better. Matty, I guess specifically on defense, what are you seeing that's leading you to say that you weren't good enough? I guess just to us, it kind of seems like an elite offensive team kind of doing their thing. So what, what are you kind of seeing that makes you think that it's not the case? So, yeah, you know, LSU was a great team, of course, great great players. Um, we knew they were going to score. But the way we play defense, we dictate and disrupt. And tonight we just did not dictate and disrupt. You know, we let them do what they wanted to do. Don't get me wrong, they're very talented, so we knew they were going to score. You know, but 50 points in the first half, that's just not okay with us at all. You get what I'm saying? So, like, we held them to 34 points the second half. You get what I'm saying? So. Let's say we do 34 points both both you know both halves you know then it's a different ball game. So all I'm saying is um it, it it was just a lot of things that we we just fell short at you know on the defensive end. But like I said, we're gonna keep working at it. Maddie, that third quarter run where y'all claw all the way back. Just kind of what was the feeling on the bench like? Did y'all feel like hey we we right back in there? And how confident were you that y'all were gonna be able to carry that into the fourth quarter? We were very confident. Um, <coughs> it took honestly. Uh, 
you know, halftime. We had, you know, <laughs> coach got got in our butt, you know, during halftime, and you know, as we we needed it, you know. So we came out with fire, and we came out defending, the, you know, the way we know how to defend. So again, we just got to get to the point where we put that together for a complete forty minutes, and and, and you know, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Cause that second half, it yes, it still has ups and downs, but I like the way we played the second half. You know, so we're we're gonna keep growing and getting better. Uh, first of all, just an incredible uh, fan support tonight. Um, you know, for me, I remember Don Staley would always tell me, like, yo, you know, you have to get used to having big crowds. And I'm not being a Debbie Downer, but if we could have this crowd, Every time we play, I'm not even asking for 9,000. I'm asking for 5,000. If we could start getting 5,000, then there's, there's truth to, like, we're, our players are just not used to playing in front of this type of crowd. And, and, and LSU is. Every night they play, I don't care if it's whatever is going on, at one time, we, w we went to Baton Rouge last year. It was an awful storm. Remember that? And I was like, there's no way people will come out. They had 7,000 people out on a weekday. And so I'm just saying, like, if we could get this crowd all the time, we too could get used to this. And then we'll start to, to, to get the wins, OK? I had to get that off my chest. Now. LSU is a really, really good team, you know. Uh, man, all five of their players were in double digits. I mean, they were really a tough matchup. Um, and uh, I don't want to see what they're going to look like in March, all right. Um, but their, re their championship residue still um, – it seeps out of their veins, and they, they definitely have a persona about them, a swagger about them um, that carries them throughout. And uh, I thought that they did a great job managing that um, in the beginning. I did not like the score 26-23. For fans, you guys, they probably loved it, right? Like, oh, my God, this is like a boxing fight. But that's not how we play. You know, and so uh, I, w I, I was worried right then and there because we're not at the point yet where we can average 23 points every quarter. Now, you saw glimpses, right? So I don't want to see how we're going to – You don't people don't want to see what we're going to look like in March because you saw glimpses, all right? And this, this, is, this is her third game at the point, all right? And so – we're going to start doing that. We're just not there yet, and that, that made me uncomfortable, um, the type of pace that we were with. And then when we, when, we, when we took the lead, we expended so much energy to do it, and I had to use so many timeouts, I couldn't manage the bodies the way I would have wanted to to maybe try to get us to pull out the victory. But, but uh, kudos to LSU. I thought they were tremendous. Coach, you talk about this crowd today. Mm -hmm. And that, that's been kind of one of your platforms in terms of building this program. I'm just curious, did you take a moment when y'all came out yeah. and look around? Absolutely. Absolutely, David. I was just amazed, and it felt great. I just know, like, <clears throat> women's programs, like, did you see the new deal we just got? Like, women's basketball is, like, the real deal. Now, LSU – really helped bringing that crowd out, okay, because they're that type of team. There are teams that bring big crowds out, and it was a blessing for us to have them on a Sunday. But, and maybe I'm crazy, but I do believe if we could start averaging five, 6,000, you know, not 9,000, I'm, I'm, I'm realistic. Right now we're at 2,000. If we could 5,000, then our girls will start getting used to it and being able to, you know, work through that sound and that crowd because it does matter and it does help. 
And so, uh, but yeah, I mean, I for me, I'm the type of person I love that stuff. Like, I felt like I would have had a double double had I played, but I did not. And uh, you know, that's something that hopefully we could continue to push for. But there are cha challenges, and I do understand that too. You were down by 13 once, and, and y'all came back and mm -hmm. pulled even. And I think even went ahead by one. Yeah. Um, I mean, what does that what does that say about this group as it yeah. constantly yeah. gels together and everything? My gosh, I mean, it just it just shows no one's gonna want people are not gonna want to see us in March if 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 we learn from this and continue to get better. So tonight, I graded my team on culture and toughness. And so after every game, I will grade them. And so our goal is to just continue to get better every time. Y'all, we don't give up 50 points. That is not, that was very non-characteristic for us. I think you could ask Coach Mulkey and like, they would, they didn't expect that. Last year, we held them to 69 points. You get what I'm saying? And so, like Maddie said, 34 points, 34 and 34, that's 68. And we have 73, we win. But but 50 points? I, I, I lost it at halftime, you know, because I'm just like, like, we held eight teams to 55 points or less. Like, we're legit. We have held eight teams so far below 50 and we give up 50? Oh, my God. I, like, I almost passed out with disgust at halftime in our defensive performance. You get what I'm saying? So, but this is game two, right? We'll be better. I'm excited about it. Coach, you're, you're talking about, I guess, managing minutes. Mm -hmm. um, bringing the game to a point where, where you don't have to score 26 points in a quarter. Um, you know, the crowds. Yeah. It sounds to me like, uh, would it be fair to say that th this program has some evolving to do to get on the level where it can consistently can win games like this? Well, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, um, but but we, we're not where we were when I first came. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um and absolutely, and and I'm and that that's what encourages me, you know. If if our marketing team and and everybody, our media team and administration continues to do what they're doing, and we get the word out, and we get people to come, and they start saying, "Man, I like that." You know, what I'm hoping is that people saw us tonight and said, "Wow, those girls." Maybe I don't need to come to another game because that's how it works, you know. And everybody loves a winner, and so. Um, if we continue to get that, uh, I think it will, it's going to be great for our program, and that's when our program will be at that elite level. You see, LSU is an elite level program. I, I don't think we're there yet because we don't, we don't, we don't have the following yet. Uh, and, and to the 26, 23, 25, I'm, I'm going to encourage my team, let's try to get that. But we can't give up 50 because my heart can't take it, all right? Um, had I still been 30 pounds like I was heavier last year, I don't know what would have happened. I may have croaked out on you guys, you know what I mean? So um, we, we, we definitely have work to do, um, but that's the beauty of this. I mean, you're six uh, at this job, and the growth has been – Tremendous, and we will continue to grow. Coach, defensively, just especially in that first half, like what was the disconnect that you were seeing out there? <coughs> it just wasn't working. Yeah. Where just a game ago, you'll give yeah. up forty-five points in an entire game. Exactly. It was shock. It was. It was the moment. It was the crowd. It was the oohs and ahs. See, when you play LSU, they call it the show. Like it's really a show. Like Coach Mulkey is a show. You know, their players are, are public figures. You know, one of their players makes a million dollars, two of them, you know. So, like, that's what they do. And so our team got caught up into the show, you know. They got crossed over the crowd, go, ooh, and they're embarrassed. What? Like, this is basketball, 
recovering blocker, you know? Um, and, and, and so we got caught up in that, and um, it got the best of us. And, and it, I needed 15 minutes to fix that halftime. <laughs> Yeah, with this being just the second SEC, <coughs> is there an advantage or any silver lining to playing a top-tier program like this so early yeah. in conference play so that you can maybe correct it rather, yeah. rather than playing them so much later? Oh, man, that's a great question. First of all, I'm glad we're only playing them once and I don't have to see them until March. Bye. Okay? And I'll be rooting for them the rest of the way because they help with our net. But um, here's the thing. Like you said, it is game two. So we really, this was awesome for us because we had been on a little streak and we hadn't had no adversity. And so we've been celebrating them a lot. No, you guys are great, you're great, 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 great. So we kind of need this to say, okay, this is where the hole is in the boat, okay? And we can't just patch this hole, we gotta, we gotta fix this hole. And that's, and that's what you love, and if you're a, a coach, is we, we don't like losing, but we respect the process. I respect the process. And so am I, was I in there throwing around chairs? No, it's game two, right? Would I have wanted to win? Absolutely. I, I hate losing more than I love winning, okay? But our program, our Team 49, still has ways to go. But I tell you this, and I know you all have been following it, I don't, against this LSU team, my last year team, I don't we we maybe with 50, 60 points. I mean, we just wouldn't have. So that just shows you like we are better. We just have to put it all together. And we will. Yeah, last thing that I at least have for you is uh, you know, Coach Moki teams are also known for their defense and stuff. Being able to have this performance again uh, against them, mm -hmm. just what does that say about the potential when y'all are able to hopefully put it all together yeah. come the end of the season? Uh yeah, well, I think Yes, they are known for their defense, but sometimes when you get like really, really good offensive players, you have to sacrifice it a little bit, and that's what's going on with them. With them, um, I'm sure she wants them to play better defense, right? But like some of the shots they made were incredible. That's high level offensive talent, and most times you don't get both. You know, like when I had KK, KK could score; she couldn't guard. <laughs> our own shadow. And so um, for us, we're trying to get to the middle because that middle for us of uh, scoring, you know, two 20-point quarters, keeping teams 14 or less, that's, that's a lot of wins in conference, right? Um, and so uh, for us, we, we felt like we would be able to score against them, and, and we do want to get our offense, offense better. I was just really, really disappointed in the defense tonight. So, and you know what? And maybe, maybe because our offense was so good, maybe we gave up some stuff. Maybe, maybe when I watch the film, I need to watch the film. Like, maybe I should have slowed the game way down and cut the possessions. Maybe the, should, the possessions should have been in the 50s. And, and I would have taken some opportunities for them away. But it was a fun game. Like, it was a great game to watch. So, like, I want to be us to be able to play like this. No one wants to watch paint dry. Like, this was, like, a really good game. And so we just have to figure out how to manage that. Any other questions? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks.